Welcome back to the channel guys. If you are just joining me for the first time, my name is James. I do appreciate you guys being here. Today we're gonna spend some time out on the beach. I haven't done too much surf fishing since moving down here to Florida. Um, I've always heard how much fun it is. It just, it always seemed kind of boring to me until I actually started trying it for the first few times. And then I was like, hey, this is kind of fun. So I still don't totally know what I'm doing yet, but I think we'll get into them pretty good. We're gonna just spend the day relaxing out here on the beach, hopefully reeling in some pompano. Um, I know the bite has been pretty good. The conditions are looking pretty decent today, so I'm hoping they're there. So let's get some lines in the water, guys. Let's get to it. Hopefully we'll catch some fish. For bait today, I do have some, uh, some shrimp that we're gonna be using. These are um, like the fresh dead shrimp here. So we're gonna give those a try, um, see if those work. And then I've also got the, uh, the shrimp flavored fish gum. We'll put the shrimp on there and then uh, tip it off with some uh, fish gum. All right, let's get this out past the first sandbar. I want to get them between the two bars. I think that's where we're probably going to have most of our luck at here. Had something on this one. There he is. I was on the phone with Cody too, and I'm like, gotta go. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice little pump, man. Hell yeah. That's actually only the, uh, the second one that I've ever caught to technically Technically, we've caught two on this channel, but my wife actually caught the first one because she was manning my rods while I went up to the truck to get food. That's sick though, man. That is sick. They got to be 11 to the fork to keep. This guy is obviously good to go. He's probably going to be like 12, 12, 13 to the fork, but I'm going to put him on the board anyway, just for fun because who doesn't love measuring a good fish, right? 13 and a half to the fork. Heck yeah, man. All right, guys, there's a look at that uh, that pop for you. Only the second one that I've ever caught, man. That is so sick, and it only took about 10 minutes after throwing that rod out to get that. Whew. Gorgeous fish, man. These things are amazing. Look at the color on that guy. That is awesome. The drinks are on that side, so we'll just we'll stick them in right there. That'll be That'll be just fine. All right, guys, we got those rods cast back out. Doug is here, so welcome. And uh, we're, we're walking up here right now because we got like some serious fog rolling in. I thought it was supposed to be nice today, but I got I guess we got like a, like a dense fog advisory or something. So we're gonna go check this out. This looks pretty wild. All right, well, at least it's not thunderstorms. That's what I was worried about. It looked pretty dark, but you guys can see it's like, it's rolling in thick over the beach down here. So, oh. See what happens. Little one. Hey. Nice man. Oh, right, here we go. To everybody else to see. There you go, yeah. Yeah, he's over eleven. Yep, like 11. eleven and a quarter. Nice man. Congrats. You heading out, man? See you later. later. All right, guys, fast forwarding a little bit. It has been several more hours and we're not having any luck at all. Um, I got the one pump, Doug got the one pump, and uh, the uh, people that are with Saltwater Mercs over there got a nice pump. There's there's probably the biggest of the day that we've seen so far. Uh, but other than that, it seems pretty slow out here. It's about 12 o'clock, it's like 11.45, 12 o'clock right now, somewhere in there. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack it up and uh, I'm gonna go put everything in the truck. We're gonna head out of here and then I'm gonna do a cook 
on this pompano. I've never tried pompano before. I've heard it is like one of the best eating fish down here out of the Gulf. So I'm super excited to give it a try. Um, I wasn't really planning on doing a catch and cook. I was hoping we were gonna get onto enough fish to make like a, a video with enough like substance to it since I just filmed the catch and cook. If you guys did see that, links in the description, go check it out. Um, but I guess we're gonna do a cook guys. So let's get packed up and uh, I will see you back at the house and we're gonna find a cool way to cook this pompano up. I think it should be pretty good. Alright guys, welcome to the kitchen. So with the pompano, I keep hearing from all of you guys um, and everyone I hang out with, it's like one of the best eating fish here on the Gulf Coast. So I'm gonna try to do something that kind of like keeps the flavor of the fish. So we're gonna keep it simple. I am gonna do fish tacos again. Um, I just released a, a video recently that I did fish tacos on. Um, so I was gonna stray away from that, but Michelle, who is behind the camera right now, did not get to enjoy the fish tacos and I still have a bunch of ingredients left over from that that we need to use. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're gonna start out doing a, um, a salsa. The reason I start the salsa first before cooking the fish is because fish cooks very fast, especially when the, uh, the fillets are as thin as they are. So the salsa's gotta sit for a few minutes so all those ingredients can kind of you know come together and, and get that flavor. I think the first thing we're gonna do, we'll get our tomatoes diced up. So I'm gonna do this as kind of a, a chunky salsa. So I'm gonna go with uh, two Roma tomatoes. I like using Romas just because they always seem a little bit more firm. And we're gonna do jalapeno. I'm only gonna use half a jalapeno for this. And uh, a little trick here, because um, Michelle does not like spicy foods. Um, if you guys don't like spicy foods, what you can do with these is just take it in half, just like that. You can just take that spoon and just scoop it right down the inside of that jalapeno. Just take all those seeds out, take the inside out. That's gonna tone the spice down a little bit for you. So I'll just do a nice fine little uh, dice here. I like cilantro, we both do, so we're gonna add cilantro to this. Um, this is an acquired taste. I think I said that in my last video too, so if you guys don't enjoy eating soap, if that's what it tastes like to you, you don't have to put it in, but we're gonna put it in. So I just, I don't go too crazy with this. I just kind of finally chop it up. It doesn't have to be anything too special. And then you can just put that right in the bowl. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna do red onion. Um, because we're adding this with a jalapeno, we don't want to get too much zest. So we're just going to do um, probably just one, one slice of red onion and uh, finally dice that up. Um, if you like more zest, of course, you can put you know, however much you want in there. But since the wife doesn't like spice, we're going to try not to make it too horrible. Beautiful slice job, James. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do mango. Um, this is gonna be a, a sweet and spicy, not so much spicy, but you know, sweet and spicy salsa, so to say. Um, so the sweetness is gonna come from the mango, and we're also gonna do pineapple, which this is a new one for me. I've never done pineapple in a salsa, so I'm kind of excited. So same thing, we're just gonna take this into, uh, you know, just not super fine dices, but fairly decent size. Hey, hey, look, I got a big one. Hey. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, there you go. Good girl. Hey, look, you gotta do the, you gotta do the catch trick for the viewers. Here, look, Lisey. Lisey. There you go. Good girl, all right, you too. Boop, boop, boop. And uh, last, thing that we're putting in besides salt is gonna be a lime, so we're just gonna quarter this. We're gonna use two quarters for the salsa and then we're gonna save the last two quarters for tacos to kind of top those off. Let's go ahead and squeeze two of these quarters real good. Okay, and then the, uh, the last thing that we're gonna do in the salsa, just a little bit of salt, you don't have to add it, but I'm gonna add it. I like just a little bit of saltiness with that sweet. So go ahead and uh, mix it up here. You can see it's got all those colors, it looks real good. Yeah, that's perfect. We're gonna go ahead and cook the fish. You wanna let that salsa sit while you're doing the fish and getting everything else prepped. 
That way all those juices start coming together, all the flavors blend, and then it's gonna be like that perfect salsa to top off these tacos with. We got our uh, fish, it's all cleaned, deboned, washed, ready to go. And uh, it looks really good. It's nice, white, flaky meat. I am noticing it looks, if you guys look at it real close, it looks a little bit denser than um, some of the other stuff that we've done, like the sheep's head, for example. Um, the trigger fish, especially, the trigger fish seems much more like light and kind of flakes apart. Whereas this just seems like very dense and it's like heavier. So just something interesting. Old Bay seasoning, I put this on pretty much all the fish that I cook. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it pretty light here though. Um, add a little bit of black pepper. Usually when I'm cooking fish on the stove like this, I like to just go with a, a medium heat. Um, that's gonna be perfect. And then I like to do butter and oil. So we're gonna get a good amount of butter in the bottom of this pan. And you wanna make sure if you're doing butter um, that you're also using oil in addition to that butter because the butter will burn if you don't add some oil to it. And then you're gonna end up with all that fish sticking to the bottom of your pan. So it also helps to have a good nonstick pan. You can have another one. And here's yours. If you're gonna be in the kitchen, I'm gonna mess with you, dog. You really think that you want this? Really? You want you want some plain lettuce? Oh, she's gonna munch it. Yeah, it's not very good, is it? It's not very good, is it? It's a little bit gross, huh? And then uh, we should be ready once that's nice and hot. You can see the uh, smoke coming off of it. To so go ahead, put our fish down, and I probably got just a little bit too much oil and butter in here. I probably could have done a little bit less, but um, you know, hopefully that'll help this not stick to the pan. Um, been about um, probably like five minutes now, so we're gonna um, go ahead and flip it over, and then I'm estimating probably, come on, there we go, um, probably another two to three minutes on this side. Um, it should temp to 145 when it's done. I usually like to go to 150 if it's fresh. And then you can kind of just use a fork and just lightly, very lightly, just kind of start breaking that up. And uh, if it's done, like it should be, it'll just kind of flake apart into little flakes that you can put on your tacos. All right, so we got all the pompano um, on the tortillas. Michelle, if you will just do a quick kind of pan around the plate for me there, please. This was a 13 and a half inch pompano. So this is the amount of meat that we got off of that fish. That's enough for about six tacos. If you go super light, you might even be able to squeeze like seven or eight if they're really small, but something for you guys to know. When I was walking through Walmart the other day, um, found this Taco Bell Baja sauce. And I love Taco Bell, so that sparked my interest. So I bought it, used it on fish tacos in that last video, and it was amazing. So we're gonna put a little bit of this on um, these tacos here. Make sure it's mixed up real nice so you get a good blend of all the ingredients and you're not just getting like a pile of tomatoes or something. We're gonna do our lettuce. Like I said, I prefer um, prefer lettuce over cabbage. For most applications, cabbage does go really well um, with you know, certain things, but for this, I just, I prefer the lettuce. A little bit of lime drizzle. You should still have two quarters of your lime here. So I just use one quarter for, for each plate. All right guys, there it is. Pompano tacos, let's give them a try and see how it is. But I am pretty sure they're probably gonna be pretty bomb. It is good, I like that pineapple. The pineapple's good, um, in that last video we did, I just had the mango. It was the exact same salsa recipe, but just the mango. The pineapple definitely adds like a whole new like dynamic to it, and then you get like just that little bit of zestiness from the, uh, the red onions and the jalapeno pairs really well together. So anyway, um, thank you all so much for coming along on this adventure with me today. Um, I'm pretty stoked. That's only the second pompano that I've ever caught. Um, technically, we've got three on this channel, but the first one was actually hers um, in that camping video that we filmed. I walked away from the rod and, and she brought it in. So pretty cool, guys. Um, it was definitely as delicious as you guys have been telling me. So really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I do have a whole bunch of new stuff coming out here soon, as well as a couple announcements coming up probably within the next like month or so. So you guys stay around. Um, hopefully you keep enjoying the videos and uh, we'll just keep having a good time catching some fish, maybe doing some camping and all that kind of stuff. So as always guys, look forward to seeing you on the next one. <laughs>